everyone. This is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. Today is my episode one of alternative things or alternative choices to things we can no longer afford or that are getting to be more costly. Let's get started and talk about it. Today's topic is central air conditioning. Now, some of you are not in a really hot climate. I am. I'm originally, I was raised in the Twin Cities. I'm from Minneapolis, St. Paul area. I now live in the Dallas, Texas area. Big difference. I went from below zero to above 100. So you definitely need air conditioning here. I didn't need it as much in Minnesota. Central air conditioning which I'm talking just the condenser, the outdoor portion of it, it used to be a lot more affordable. Now it can be anywhere from $5,900 upwards to $12,000 depending on what size unit and a bunch of factors. Now that would include installation and many times people want to get a specialist to come out and do it so they know what they are doing. Now, I've had many of you in the comments below say, Dawn, you've gotten robbed. You're going by one of these big companies. You need to have, you know, um, somebody that's a handyman do it. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. Many of you may have people in your family that have a lot of skills when it comes to being able to install things. I do not have that. And so... If people don't know what they're doing, they could cause a lot of damage. For example, I know someone that had somebody that they knew put in a bathroom for them. And they didn't check with the city on some things. And they had to have it all torn out. I also know somebody that did their own water heater and made some mistakes and had to come and have a professional do it. So it's great if you want to go a different route to save more money and have maybe a friend or a family or a handyman that you trust that knows what they're doing, but they have to know what they're doing because if not, it could end up costing you more in the end. So you could get a central air unit and maybe have somebody that you know install it for you if they know what they're doing. That's number one. Number two, and I've been doing some research on this, and by the way guys, with all of these things, I am not an expert. Always do your own research. I know a little bit of knowledge, so when I mention these, look into it yourself because like I said, I only know a little bit about these. I have some, a one friend of mine that got a, this is my number two idea, got a mini split. And mini split is basically, could be a heating and air unit. What's good about this is you don't need to have any duct work in your home, but you do need a specialist, an HVAC specialist to install it. So it could end up costing you initially more money. What I have heard about it from the people I know that have had them and have had them installed is that they do tend to last longer cool and heat more efficiently and like if you have one person that likes to be cooler than someone else that you could use like a little remote and you might have one room that's cooler or warmer than another room so you can individualize it that's one good thing about it and it's also quiet and more energy efficient so the only thing is is if you need more than one for your home it could end up costing you about the same thing as central heating and air I don't know from my own experience. There's tons of videos on YouTube about it. Always do your research and look at pros and cons of every situation. Another thing is I had one of you tell me that you just didn't want to spend the money on central air and you went with window units and you said your air conditioner, your electric bill's actually gone down and so now you use window units. So that's a possibility or portable air conditioners. Now I don't know much about that but I've heard of people that they can move them from room to room. I'm not sure how they work. The next, and we've heard this one, and I actually have shades that block out a lot of sun. Blackout curtains, it's not the same thing as an air conditioner, but it may be able to block out a lot of heat. Also, there's all different kinds of Arctic fans. I can tell you because we had one that only works for a very small area. You could also put ice in front of a fan, but it's only going to cool off a small area. It's not going to cool off a great big room. So these are just options. I know somebody in Louisiana, for example, that has a swamp cooler. I don't know a lot about it, but what I have heard is it works great if your temperatures are a little bit warm, but if it's really, really humid, or if your temperatures are above 100, it only can work to some capacity. So these are just some options. The main thing is you've got to look at pros and cons 
You know, what does it cost to install it? Do you know someone that can do it for you? You know, all of these types of things. You have to research, 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 and look at pros and cons, and just, you know, come up with what you think is going to be budget-friendly for you. But me, myself, I am going to tell you this. I want to make sure if I'm having someone come to my home to do something, that they know what they are doing. You also want to check to see how easy it is to find parts, too, for anything you have. So let me know what you guys think. If you live in a really warm climate, what are some alternatives to expensive central air conditioning? I want to hear from you in the comments below. That's all I have to say for now. I love you. I appreciate you. And I sure hope you come back for tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye now.